So welcome back to my channel. I wanted to put this very quick video together to give you a very quick introduction to a new feature which has just dropped into Flutterflow and it's all about theming widgets. So you can take the base widgets, you can style them up and then you can apply those across the whole of your application. It's a game changer. It's gonna open up opportunity for the future where you can actually then introduce a design system into your application. You'll then be able to then off the shelf be able to pull design systems into your application and you can literally change the look and feel of your application almost instantly. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a quick intro to how that works, just to give you then some guides to then be able to apply into your own application. So without further ado, let's get cracking. So here we are now within the widget tree of Flutterflow, and I've got a couple of pages that I can demo this to you now. So on the screen at the moment, you can see a couple of buttons that I've got at the bottom of my application. Now, typically what you would do is you would actually end up creating those buttons, you'd be dragging them in, and then you'd be actually then styling them individually. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move now over to the new option that's now appeared on the left-hand side called the theme settings. Just hit that, and then on the left-hand side here, you can see where it says themed widgets. So I'm gonna move up to create widget up on the right hand side. I'm gonna give my widget a name. So I'm just gonna call this button standard and I'm gonna, just gonna choose the button option here and hit create. Now here in this particular panel here, you can see a preview of this, the settings that I'm gonna, now gonna apply on the right hand side. So firstly, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give my border radius here a radius of 30 and the, the actual uh, color of the actual um, the actual uh, sort of widget itself, I'm gonna make a change. So instead of it being white, I'm actually gonna actually choose this custom color here that I've got as my primary button text. I'm just gonna choose that. And I'm also gonna just change the, the actual font weight to normal, and I'm just gonna reduce this down to 12. So then what I'm then gonna further do is I'm just gonna scroll up, I'm gonna change the fill color. So I'm just gonna choose fill color there, and I'm gonna choose this new option that they've got in this release of Flutterflow, and they've actually now labeled as an ascent color. So I've actually switched my primary color to now be my ascent color in this example. So I'm just gonna choose that, and there we go. That is the button that I've got the look of on the, uh, on the page. I'm just gonna hit save. What I can also do here is I can now actually duplicate that button. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna select that and I'm actually gonna change the fill color to be my tertiary color. So I have a tertiary sort of color here and with inside my actual button text, I'm just gonna choose the primary button text to be my um, my ascent three text, okay? So you just kind of, you just about, just about see it there. So what I'm just gonna do, just gonna go up here, I'm just gonna change this here and I'm just gonna, instead of being standard, I'm just gonna call this tertiary like that and just hit save and now I've got my two themed widgets. So now I'm gonna pop over to the UI builder so I'm now just gonna apply the styles there now. So here I'm now onto the UI builder. I'm just gonna select my button there on the, the side. You can see here there's a new option called widget styling up here. So just hit widget styling and I'm just gonna choose my button standard. You can see here the label change because obviously I'm taking then the, the base information. So I'm just going to uh, change this to continue. And then on the right hand, so the left hand side here, I'm just gonna move back up here, choose theme styling, just choose button tertiary. And I'm just gonna change the label then to uh, to skip like that. So I'm pretty well back to where I was. Now I'm, I'm just gonna quickly pop over to my widget tree here. I'm just going to choose the profile. Just to demonstrate this, I'm just going to swap this button over here. So I'm just gonna go here and choose the button standard. And I'm just gonna change the actual label to be save profile. And of course, I'm just gonna scroll up here and I'm just gonna expand that out. So that's exactly how I had it before. So um, that's it. So what I can now do, and this is the magic of this now, is I can actually, if I decide to make a change, so let's say for example, I decide to put some elevation, I'm gonna put some shadow on that. I can do that in one place instead of going through all of the widgets individually. So I'm just gonna head back over to the, the theme settings option here. I'm just gonna select the actual button here. And of course I can come in here and I can now change the elevations. If I just select five on there, you can just see I get a, a shadow, hit save. I'm just gonna do the same here as well. Just go to elevation five, hit save. Now, if I move back over to my UI, you can see now that my button is now being applied there as well. So just to prove that is the case, let's just go back to the biometric page I've got here and you can see that's being applied there.
So it's just a fantastic way here of being able to just universally change the style of my widgets without me having to go through individually and do them. And of course, you can apply this to many, many other uh, widgets that's actually within the side the system here. There's a there's there's a pretty good, a pretty big uh, sort of selection there. The ones that you should be familiar with with containers and that kind of stuff. And remember, you can create multiple different kind of buttons to suit the characteristics of your application. So just one other thing to point out as well in this particular video is that the colors palette has now changed. It's much, much, much clearer now to see colors that you've got within inside your application. They've also made some adjustments here that they've got some semantic colors now. So you can clearly set kind of success and error and warning colors throughout your application. So you can sort of hook widgets onto those colors. And also as well, they've now got these ascent colors as well. So if you've seen any of my previous videos around the 60, 30, 10 rule when it comes to actually kind of choosing sort of styling and theming for your application please do go and check that video out but what we've actually done now is the what I would typically use as a primary color would be my ascent color but now they've actually got dedicated panels now for ascent color so I'm going to be changing the way that I build my applications to now be using ascent colors here as well so it makes it makes it super easy uh, to now sort of theme up your application is very very clear so that's just a great enhancement that they've made and I really do welcome that that's going to make it much much easier to see so just one thing to point out as well, topography has changed as well. Lots more additional styles that you can actually have now inside your application. I think previously they had seven and that's now been increased to a much larger number. So hopefully that'll give you a little bit more flexibility in your design. So there you go, hope you like this video. It's just a very, very quick overview, of course, of some of the new features that's just dropped into Flutterflow. I'm gonna be doing a more comprehensive look at this and I'll be using some of these techniques in future videos as I start sort of building out my UIs. So please do like the video. Please do subscribe to my channel if you love this kind of stuff and you use Flutterflow. And um, I look forward to seeing you in the next one.